السلام علیکم اور رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم ٹو مائی ورچوئل کلاس روم ایم کے اے کلاس روم ناؤ لیٹ اسٹارٹ ٹو ڈیز ویڈیو ٹیوٹوریل ٹوڈے we are going to start our discussion class one budgets and budgetary control we again we will start production budget uh, this budget shows the estimated cost of production the production budget demonstrates the capacity of production these the uh, capacity of productions are expressed in the terms of cost of cost in production cost budget so the cost of production is uh, shown in detail respect of material cost labor cost factory overhead etc etc then raw material budget direct uh, raw materials budget is prepared uh, with an uh, intention to determine standard material cost per unit and uh, consequently it involves the quan quan quantities uh, to be used the rate per unit so here uh, you will uh, whenever you will read it then it it will clear it support the purchasing department in issuing the purchase that means when uh, we need uh, raw materials what amount of raw materials we need for our next year uh, then it uh, was uh, related uh, to our uh, production it uh, uh, provides data for raw material control then purchase budget A strategic planning of purchase uh, offers one of the most important areas of reduction cost in many concerns this will consist of direct and indirect material and uh, services so the purchasing budget may be expressed in terms of quantity or men or money the main purpose of this budget are it designs designs designers cash requirements in uh, respect of purchases to be made uh purchase budget strategic planning of purchases offers one of the most important areas of reduction cost in many concerns these will consist of direct and indirect material and uh, services the purchasing budget may be expressed in terms of quantity or money the main purpose of budget are uh, uh um, requirements of the uh, de designers cash requirement in respect of purchases to be made during the budget period labor budget labor budget actually related to the wages of labor human resources are highly expensive item in the operation <coughs> of an uh, enterprise hence uh, like other factors of production the management should find out in advance personal requirements for various jobs in the enterprise so this budget may be classified into labor requirement budget and labor recruitment budget so these are the budget labor budget then uh, production overhead budget the manufacturing overhead uh, budget includes the direct material uh direction labor and uh, indirect expenses the production overhead budget represents the estimate of all the production overhead that is fixed variables and variable to be incurred during the budget period the reality that overheads include many different types of expenses creates considerable problems in fixed overheads that is uh, wish to be uh, remain stable 
irrespective of vary in the volume of output to a portion of manufacturing over its to be products manufactured semi variable cost those who is are partly variable and partly fixed control of production over its variable over its which is likely vary with the output selling and distribution cost budget selling and distribution cost budget is estimating of cost of selling advertising delivery of goods to customers etc throughout the budget period administration cost budget this budget includes the administrative cost for non manufacturing business activities like directors fees managing director salaries office lightings heatings and air condition etc etc most of these expenses are fixed so they should not be too difficult to forecast capital expenditure budget this budget stands for expenditures on wall fixed assets for the duration of the budget period this budget is normally prepared for a longer period than the other functional budget it includes such item as a new buildings land machinery and intangible items like patents etc cash budget cash budget is a sketch of business estimated cash flows in flows and outflows over a specific period of time so cash budget actually the estimated cash inflows and outflows over a, a specific period of time cash budget is one of the most important and one of the last to be prepared it is a detailed projections of cash receipts from all sources and cash payments for all purposes and resultant cash balance during the budget so functions of cash budget it makes sure that enough cash is available when it is required it provides fund for a standard growth it provides a sound basis to manage cash position advantage of cash budget uses of cash allocation for capital investment provision of excess funds payout policy provision for acquiring funds profitable use of cash so these actually these are the advantage of cash budget systems that means profitable uses of cash provision payout policy then limitation of cash budget complex complex assumption in flexibility costly that means prepare of cash budget actually costly and uh, it is inflexible complex assumptions etc etc that are the limitations of this cash budget then methods of cash budget that means how we prepare this cash budget so receipt and payment we have to record all receipt and payment to prepare the cash budget so here uh, whenever you read this material so then it will help you estimating cash receipts estimating cash payments 
So generally main sources of cash receipts are sales interest and dividend sales of assets investment capital borrowings etc etc estimating cash payment it can be decided on the basis of various operating budgets prepared for payments of credit purses payment labor cost etc etc adjusted profit and loss account this method is based on the cash and non cash transactions this method estimates closing cash balance by converting profit into cash budgeted balance sheet method this method looks like the adjusted profit and loss account method only expect that is in this method a balance sheet is projected and in that method profit and loss account is adjusted in this method balance sheet is prepared with the projected amount of all assets and liabilities working capital differential method it is based on the estimated of working capital it uh, begins with operating or oh, sorry opening working capital and is added to or deducted from any changes made in current assets expect cash and current liabilities so here is the model of cash budget uh, for this is the um, uh, month january february march particular opening balance that means which is it previously held uh, in the last uh, month of the previous year december december's closing balance should be turned in here january opening balance then add with this balance receipts cash sales cash receipts from debtors interest and dividends sales of fixed assets sales of inventories bank loan uh, issue shares and dividends or others then total receipt in here less payments cash purses payments of creditors salaries and wages administrative expenses selling expenses dividend payable purchase of fixed asset payment of loan payment of taxes then total payment in here then closing balance should be a minus b that means wall receipt minus wall payments these are the closing balance so these are the models of cash budget <coughs> so you have to prepare uh, in this way a cash budget after that we will uh, see fixed and flexible budget fixed and flexible budget fixed and flexible budget if a fixed budget a fixed budget is prepared for one level of output and uh, one set of conditions uh, this is budget in ways targets are tightly fixed it is known as a a stick budget a stick very very stick and flexible budget uh, this is a dynamic budget in comparison with the fixed budget flexible budget is one which is uh, designed to change in relation to the level of activity attained that is which can be changed time to time that is the flexible budget flexible budget may prove uh, more useful in the following conditions where the level of activity varies from period to period uh, then where the nature of business is such that sales go on changing so where large part of output is intended for export uses of flexible budget in flexible budget number uh, numbers are adjustable to any given set of operating conditions it is therefore more sensible than a fixed budget 
which is true only in the setup operating environments so uh, these are the actually use useful of uh, flexible budget preparation of flexible budget that means how we prepare the preparation of uh, flexible budget requires the analysis of total cost into fixed and variable components this analysis of course is uh, not unusual to flexible budgeting it is more important in flexible budgeting than the fixed budgeting it is uh, so because the flexible budgeting varying levels of output are uh, considered and each class of overhead will be different for each level so uh, here has uh, the equation y equal to a plus bx that means a is fixed uh, x is a variable so fixed cost variable cost and semi variable cost so uh, in this way we can uh, see the flexible budget the formula of a flexible budget begins with the uh, analyzing the overhead into fixed and variable cost and determining the extent to which the variable cost will vary within the normal range of activity in sample equation for it could be in this way these are the equation there are two methods of preparing such a budget formula method or ratio method uh, this is uh, known as the budget cost allowance method uh, in this method the budget should be prepared as follows before period begins and at the end of the period before period begins the budget for a normal level of activity then uh, here is uh, another things uh, the whole process is expressed in this formula allowed cost fixed cost plus actual units of activity for the period into variable cost per unit activity uh, then another uh, techniques uh, to uh, prepare flexible budget that is multi activity method this method involves uh, computing a budget for every major level of activity when the actual level of activity is uh, known the allowed cost is found interpolating between the budgets of activity levels to each other so graphic method another method is graphic method in this uh, method estimate the budgets are presented uh, graphically uh, in this cost are divided into three classes fixed variable and semi variable cost values of cost are obtained for different levels of productions these values are uh, in here the model of fixed flexible budget the model of flexible budget then particulars capacity utilizations so 60% capacity utilizations then 80% 100% then here is the uh, prime cost direct material direct labor direct expenses variable overheads uh, then maintenance and repairs indirect labor indirect material factory overheads administrative overhead selling and uh, distributions of operating overhead then total the total uh, total variables then marginal cost sales contribution sales minus marginal cost uh, that is the contribution fixed cost factory overheads administrative overhead selling and uh, distribution overhead total total uh, um, uh, total cost marginal cost then profit or loss that means cost minus cost minus another uh, factory overhead cost minus fixed cost sorry cost minus 
fixed cost that is profit and loss this all about today stay home stay safe assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh